Did you know that sensitive company data could be labeled, classified, and protected right from within Windows File Explorer? Let's find out how to do it. In this video, I'll show you how to get the most out of what we call the Microsoft Purview Information Protection Client. Whether you're studying for SC401 or you just wanna keep your organization's data safe, I'll walk you through everything relevant to this topic. Let's dive in. Once you've downloaded the client, you can run it from your downloads folder, either by the executable or by the MSI installation package. I'll choose the MSI on this occasion. Click yes, and it's a simple install and it's done. At scale, you can also deploy this using Intune or Configuration Manager. But why do you need the Purview Information Protection Client at all, I'm hearing you ask? Well, this is because it has advanced features beyond the built-in Office labeling. So Office apps like Word, Excel, Outlook, and PowerPoint do now have native support for sensitivity labels. So for many organizations, that built-in labeling is enough for basic needs. However, with the client, this adds advanced capabilities that aren't available natively, such as bulk labeling and classification of files through File Explorer, and I'll show you that in a moment. Also, things like labeling and protection of non-Office files, like PDFs, text files, images, and so on. There are options for PowerShell automation for bulk operations and scripting, and scanner integration for on-premises and data repositories, which is a subject we'll come to very shortly in this guide. And we have some custom user prompts and advanced policy enforcement. There are options as well. Shouldn't these options be there automatically though, I hear you say? Well, Microsoft is moving towards native labeling in Office and cloud services. And for many organizations, that is enough. But the client fills gaps for now for advanced bulk or non-office scenarios and for organizations with hybrid or complex environments. Over time, more features will very, very likely be integrated natively, but the client is still required for certain advanced or legacy scenarios. So let's take a look at how this looks in my own OneDrive here. If I want to do something directly from the Explorer, I can select a document, I can right click on it and show more options. I really hate Windows 11. And I can apply sensitivity label with Microsoft Purview from that toolbar. It opens up the information protection file labeler and it gives me the options of the labels that have been published to my user object. And I can choose here between personal, public, or super confidential, or I can protect with custom permissions. And here I can select the drop down and choose between viewer, reviewer, co author, co author all permissions are only for me. And I can select particular users, groups, or organizations and set an expiry date. I'm not going to do that in this example. I'm just going to put the super confidential label onto this document and click on apply. It works away and it does that in a couple of seconds and I can close the labeler. Now, can I do this in bulk? Let's select a few documents and I will right click again and I will go to show more options, apply sensitivity label with Microsoft Purview. And again, I have this option to label all of those files. Note that it says multiple files selected here. I'll click on public in this occasion and I will click on apply. And in this particular example, you can see the labeling policy comes into play because either one or more of the documents I've selected obviously has another label applied already. So I can just select the previous label no longer applies or was incorrect, or I can put in another explanation with a written justification. I'll just put the previous label was incorrect and I will click on confirmed, tells me it's finished and seven files are processed. I can show the results if I want to here as well. So let's see what that looks like. And it opens it in Excel and it tells me exactly what has happened. And then I can close. Okay, and now some tips on the exam for you on this topic. Number one, know when this client is needed. Understand scenarios where the client is required. For example, bulk labeling and file explorer, non-office files, on-premises data, and PowerShell automation. Recognize that built-in office labeling covers most office app scenarios. 
but the client extends those capabilities. Number two, planning and deployment. Be familiar with prerequisites, licensing, supported OS and Office versions, and user permissions. Know how to download and install the client and how to deploy it at scale using Intune or Configuration Manager. Understand how to configure the client using group policy or Intune. For example, default label, mandatory labeling. Number three, sensitivity labels and policies. Know how to create and publish the labels in the purview portal. We've already been over that in this series. Understand label scopes like files, emails, teams, and SharePoint, and policy assignments to users and groups. Again, we've already covered that in earlier videos. Number four, managing files. Practice how to manually label files in the Office apps and in the File Explorer using the client. Know how to bulk label files and what file types are supported. Understand how to view label details and what protections such as encryption and watermarking are applied. Number five, automation and advanced scenarios. Be aware of PowerShell commandlets for automating labeling tasks. Understand the client's role in on-premises data classification with the Purview Scanner, which we will cover in an upcoming video. And number six, troubleshooting and best practices. Know where to find logs and how to troubleshoot client issues. And remember the best practices, pilot deployments, user education, and monitoring via the Purview portal. And do also recall that learn.microsoft.com is your friend for any of these topics if you're not sure about anything. Possible sample exam question types. So you could get a scenario-based question where a company needs to label and protect PDF and image files in bulk. What should they deploy? Uh, what is the best choice? Which tool allows? bulk labeling of files in Windows Explorer, and then configuration, how do you enforce mandatory labeling for all files using the client? So those are the sort of questions you're gonna get. Quick memory aids, so client equals advanced bulk non-office and on-premises, portal equals label creation and policy assignment, office built-in, is office files only and basic needs. And a final tip, if you see a question about labeling files outside office apps, bulk operations, or on-premises data, the answer almost always involves the purview information protection client. And that's how you plan, implement, and use the Microsoft purview information protection client. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments. Do hit like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget the notifications bell as well. Good luck with your SC401 studies. I will be back with another video on this exam guide very, very soon. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Do take care, stay safe, and above all else, travel well. Bye-bye.